What's going on, RBG Fam Bam? Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new to our channel, my name is Vanessa, aka the Heine. Robert, aka ODM. This is our. Vanessa. Oh, oh, you woke up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you weren't sleeping? And our daughter Layla is actually with my parents right now. So, so today, you guys, we are actually headed out of town. Road trip, <laughs> Memorial Day weekend. Instead of being at home where we've been for the last couple of months, we decided to uh, take a road trip. We're in our vehicles. We're calling it quarantine on wheels. And the reason why <laughs> I say that is because, I mean, all jokes aside, we got our trailer with us, which there means it is. We'll be staying in our trailer. So we were actually headed out to Laughlin um, for Memorial Day weekend, you guys. And we just kind of wanted to give you guys our thoughts on why we are taking this trip because we know all y'all gonna come at us. For one, we are not staying in a hotel. All of the casinos and hotels are actually closed in Laughlin still, so we'll be staying in our trailer. We have my parents going with us, uh, my brother and a couple other cousins. Small family group, okay. We are staying at a campground where we will, you know, keep away from others and just stay with our family. And we are just going to um, do all the safety precautions that need be for us to get out of the house. Having said that, there are so many other things that are opening as well this weekend, so yeah. I don't feel like as bad. Trust me, it, we are very concerned citizens as always. I'm pregnant still, so we obviously are, have to stay as safe as possible. But I mean, last weekend, you, if you watch the news, which I'm sure all of you guys do, the beaches were crowded. And not only that, they didn't even have masks on. If you wanted to go walk on the beach, you were allowed to. If you wanted to go swim mm -hmm. at the beach, you were allowed to. The only thing you couldn't do is lay out at the beach, sunbathe, or uh, ride a bike, which I thought it was pretty stupid that you can walk, but you can't ride a bike. We're actually going to Laughlin, as she mentioned. And if you think about it, if you've ever been to Laughlin, mini Vegas, strip wise, it's got yeah. casinos and it's got a river. So it's river by day, casino by night. But this time the casinos are closed. They're opening up casinos in San Diego, like Pachanga, Morongo's opening up this weekend. Yeah. So I think. You know, with us just saying this. You just gotta be safe. You gotta stay sanitized. If you touch something, hey man, you're gonna do that anyway if you go to the grocery store. So just True. be smart about it. We're not gonna like be parading all up. We're not gonna be all up in bars. My wife's pregnant. Yeah. You know, we're, we're with our family and we're inside an RV trailer. We're going to a lake where it's a more secluded spot where there's nobody near us. So yeah, it's I just think gonna we're gonna be, be us okay. in our little, you know, little area. So we just wanted to give you our two cents because we know that you guys are gonna give you your two cents in the comments as well. So having said that, we uh, just left Corona not too long ago. We are about to head up the Cajon Pass right now and we're gonna be there in about four hours. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button though. Turn on those post notifications so that way you're notified every time we upload a brand new vlog. Also, we do have a special announcement and that is that we officially know our babies due date um the reason why i never really gave a due date is because i'm having a c-section so i obviously had to wait for the doctor we can't tell you this going to be a leo <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta wait till the end of the vlog to officially find out our baby's due date so maybe it's gonna be your birthday i know maybe it's one of you we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit all right guys so we just got to where are we have it Barstow. Just stopped at Barstow. This is kind of like a little traditional spot that we stop at. Um, we usually get gas. Robert wants to get some Starbucks. And then, of course, the famous Del Taco that everyone wants to go to. <laughs> Elijah, what are you eating? A fruit snack? Fruit roll up? These are so good. Are you excited to go to the lake? Camping. Who are you going camping with? Who's your best bud? Aya. Uh, Aya. Look at them water shoes, you guys. He wanted to put his water shoes on like this morning and he's had them on ever since. <laughs> yeah. Silly boy. I like him. You like him? This girl in Walmart last night with no mask because she forgot her mask. <laughs> Dang, they caught up with us. Yeah, they said Greg and Des right behind us. Really? Oh, cool. It's a family affair. All right, guys, so we're sitting in the car eating. And there goes my husband right there trying to go get Starbucks his bike. on his bike. And he wonder why he can't lose weight. I mean, that's exercise, but still he should go walk at least. Hey, I'm riding a bike. Okay, hey, okay. I guess it's exercise. You're such a nerd. So it is 
8.30 and Robert was like, oh my God. He's like, I have less than half a tank of gas and we still had like almost an hour to go. And I'm like, why didn't you get gas when we stopped at Barso? I was like, I asked him, I was like, Do you, are you good on gas? He said, yeah. Well, he obviously wasn't. Um, so we made it just on time to a Chevron where he can get diesel gas because he has to get diesel for the truck. We should be at our camping spot in about another 25 minutes. Elijah, I feel so bad. He's like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? You found him? He's right here? Yeah, what are they? <laughs> crumb donuts or oh, crunch? Cr oh, I, I think thought the they ones were... you like are crumb. I thought they were like coconut, but they're good. Thanks, babe. I didn't have the coconut. They just had white, chocolate, and those. Oh, perfect. Be the best. Oh, my. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like gates blocking the entrance to the Edgewater. I've never seen Laughlin empty like this. Like they're parking lots, huh? It's like we're in a little town. Scary, kind of. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Even Bob's favorite spot, Bikini Bot. Bikini Bot. Irma's, that, Irma's. That looks open. That looks open. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's probably open. Oh no, maybe the Riverside Oak is open. These cars. It looks like they're open more than all the other casinos, huh? Hey, it says now open. Oh, laser tag. Yeah, Kirk's Castle. Oh. All right, check us in, babe. Where are we at? <laughs> 543. Wanna grab a map? 543.8. Yep. <laughs> Right here. <laughs> All right, it's the next day, and we just got up. Sunny outside, beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful weather all weekend long. The hyena's over here, getting ready. Morning. What are we doing, babe? Typically, when we come, it's like weird because we're in a trailer, you know, and we're usually in a hotel. But yeah, we're just getting our stuff ready. We're gonna go to the lake. I gotta get you know towels, bathing suits, sunblock, all that good stuff. And then when we're at the hotel, we go down like we'll get breakfast, but since we're camping, <laughs> Aunt Jeremy's cooking breakfast. So. Oh, how'd you sleep last night? I actually slept pretty good. I was like tossing and turning a little, but I, I like caught myself like wake up in the morning. I'm like, please just go back to bed. Like you need one more hour. And I did. I'm glad I did because I feel good today. Me too. Because we all appreciate and love when you get good sleep. I bet you guys do. Because when I don't, I'm really grouchy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go outside and see what everybody doing. I need to get my glasses though, because, yeah, it's very bright out here. That's where we are right here. Right there is uh, my father in law's boat. There's Des. There's their trailer. There's some breakfast going on over here. Jamie's cooking while they're having a later. Yo! <laughs> Irma's cooking. Oh, damn. Alright, we safe. What's wrong, man? Give Uncle a hug. What's wrong, baby? I'm just going, I'm just going to this. Okay, go. See you later, alligator. Okay, not over here. Chorizo and egg. Okay. Some bacon. And a cold turkey sausage. Mmm. Abuelo. I'm going to water. You ready? Where are you going? Beach crew swag. I feel like Debo on this. <laughs> Alright, fam bam. So it is quiet here. Very peaceful. Not a lot of people. Well, there actually is. There's there's campers here, but I'm assuming either everybody's asleep. It's just a quiet area. It's one of those quiet RV spots. Quiet time last night was 10 o'clock. So usually it's 11, but you know, our family, we like to turn up the music, but can you believe nobody brought their speaker? I forgot my speaker. So we had to use the iPhone yesterday on one of those little baby ones. So we're right across the street from the Riverside. You can see. Give me a thumbs up if you've been to Laughlin and you stayed at the RV spot. So you see the hotel, the Riverside right there, the big white building, the lake, the, the river's behind it. A lot of houses. <laughs> so over there is the Colorado Bell, which they're shutting down, I understand. It's a ship over there. After so many years, I don't know what they're gonna do, but I heard they laid off like 400 workers. All right, guys, we are officially, finally, heading to the lake. We're all packed up. What's up? What Say up? hello, you ready? You're so cool, yeah. dude. I'm so cool. I'm so excited for the lake. Oh, you're so cute. Sissy's ready to go. 
Daddy's ready to go. Oh yeah, baby. So I think we are just gonna go to Subway, get some sandwiches so we can eat that on the lake. And I think tomorrow we're gonna probably barbecue on the lake. It's already 12 and we usually try to get out there earlier, but this is our first day, so we had to get the boats ready, the CDs ready, and all that good stuff. So let's go. All right, guys, I'm choking on the Starburst. We're trying to check in right now to the lake and there's a whole new system where Catherine's you, Landing. Catherine's Landing. If you guys Lake ever Mead. come here at Lake Mead, just know before you guys come in, you need to log on to a government pay. Yeah, it's pay.gov. Now they're making you pay online. You can't just show they don't accept cash or credit card in person. You got to go online and fill it out at pay.gov. And then you have to show them like your receipt from your phone. Yeah, it's a whole long process. On here. It's crazy. This is new. What do you need to see from me? Um, you got, you got, that's what I needed to see. Okay. Bring it down a little bit, yeah. And then, yep, yeah, you're good. Thank you. Awesome, we did it right, yay! We totally could have got away with it. How? He could have just sent me his. He didn't even check it. You're a cheater. I beat the system, <laughs> is what I do. Yeah, okay, $45 later. This is so empty for Memorial Weekend, you guys. This is crazy. <laughs> They're going, she's going poop. <laughs> We made it! Yay! Can I do behind that? Yay! Really? Yes! You ready? You're so cool, dude. We got a dilemma here. So the battery's dead in the boat. They were trying to launch it right now. I think the kids drained the battery down. Elijah and Delilah. And the thing about it is, is I saw them playing in it back at the campsite before we were leaving, and something crossed my mind. You should just tell them to get down because I know Elijah loves to play in my truck in the front seat and likes to play like he's driving, like most little kids do. But I also know that he had, he gets touchy-feely with the controls, and I think that's what happened. So I feel bad. I'm gonna go find my father-in-law. They have batteries at the deck here, and I'm gonna see what size it is, and hopefully at the right size and just fork out the money for a new battery. So stay tuned. Well guys, everything turned out all right. We're on the boat, obviously it works. We took the Haina, Elijah, Layla, everybody over to the spot. And now we're doing the second load right now. Fred right there, first time on the seafood. <laughs> Look at my son and his cousin up in the hole right there. Nobody get it, nobody. Little cake. Oh hey boo, okay. <laughs> you, you need your life saved, she'll save your life. She work at Kaiser. She got uh, that pension too. I'm saving saving nobody's lives over. Oh, you know what it is. Pam, pam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's probably about six o'clock, five o'clock. Roadblock. Boys hanging out. Kids on the wall, climbing the wall. It's all family right here. All family, familia. Yep. We're so tired. <laughs> it's B. It's like being on the lake the whole day just really, really drains you out when the sun's beating down on yeah. your head. And it's not even that hot out here. Can you imagine when we typically come right. you know, in June and come, July? Like when it's like 110 degrees. Oh my gosh. It's actually, it's been really nice out there, but regardless, you know, all the commotion being on the boat, just the lake, the sun, everything, it really drains you. Yeah, but we definitely had a great time and this is why we got away. We love coming out here. It's like away from home but we're still with our, our immediate family yeah. and we just had the best time ever elijah layla the kids all the cousins enjoyed themselves they always do you know when they get together and that's what it's all about for us it's r and r we're away from home we're away from work yeah. and we just love it elijah loves loves it i was like do you like the desert better or you like the lake better he said the lake and that's he wants it. a boat on that note we have a due date ladies and gentlemen all my Leos out there. Our baby girl's due date is August, August 3rd. 3rd. <laughs> 2020, baby. We're having a baby in 2020. That's crazy. Yes, and it's about two months and like one week away, you guys. So I'm like counting on the days. I am so excited. I cannot wait. A lot of you guys have been asking when exactly is your due date. Yeah. I never really knew because I have to have a C-section. I had two um, C-sections with Layla mm -hmm. and Elijah. So my doctors like you obviously are going to have to have another one, which whatever, I'm a pro, right? It's my third baby. So. Right, right. So officially June or June. <laughs> 
Bring a brain, guys. Officially August 3rd at 10 a.m. There it is. A lot of you have been asking how can you send stuff, this and that. We appreciate oh, yeah. all your baby gifts. Um, the link is in the description to our mailing address. There. And no, we're not asking for gifts. A lot of you guys have asked, where yeah. can I send a gift? Almost so, definitely. Just to get that we're right giving it to those that have asked. You don't <laughs> have to. Just be happy for us because we're happy. Yes, we are. We'd like to give our post notification shout out, and that goes out to Carla Romero. Hey, 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 hey. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for watching our blog. We love you for that. If you want a post notification shout out, all you got to do is one, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Two, hit the little bell button so that way every time we post, you guys will get notified. And when you're done, just comment down below. Hashtag done. Happy Memorial Day weekend 2020, y'all. We love y'all, fam, bam. Love you. Bye.